Anstrobica AI is slowly becoming my favorite closed AI company. They have this GigaChad energy, releasing their system prompt for all the model and letting people know what's happening in the background. It's very transparent and respectful, to be honest. And they have this awesome also prompt library that it come with a code example, like for example, Google Apps Scripter, which is here, give you an example of the output what kind of prompt that you need to give it and how the code of it will work. They make it easier for developer to just plug and play with the example. It's even better than the prompt gallery from Google Gemini AI, which is also kind of new, but it's not on the same level. And Zorobica actually forced me to make this video in non-direct way after they released this awesome reboot. Anthropica Quick Starts, which is gonna talk about it a little bit and we're gonna try it ourselves. So, what is Anthropica Quick Starts? This open repo is a collection of projects to help developers quickly get started with building deployable application using the Anthropica ABI. Each quick start provides a foundation that you can easily build upon and customize it for your specific needs. Right now, they have only one example, customer support agent. So to start working with this reboot, we're gonna have to clone the reboot itself on our machine. And after clone it, we're gonna open it and try to set up it up and make it work without ABI first. So let's get started. If you are on Windows system, you're probably gonna get this error. When you run NBM run dev, Next public include left sidebar is not recognized as internal or external command. The solution for this issue is straight and simple. All you have to do is install cross env library and it will fix this issue. But we have to switch the command line before it. We have to put cross dash env and this will fix the issue for us. So you don't have to worry about it. This is the first thing that you see when you open it up. You have here control over which model that we want to talk to. A seam changer like red or amber you can switch from dark light or system, but system doesn't work for some reason. My system by default is dark. And you can deploy it on AWS. Let's test if our key is working or not. As you can see here, the syncing assistant say here greeting the user and providing friendly response natural and the context none because i didn't provide anything else there is two options here that i can select from to continue the conversation but i am not interested in this i'm interested in the knowledge base history if you went back to the project page on github you will find that you can actually integrate some sort of rag using bedrock from amazon and it walk you through how you can set up it in Amazon Bedrock and access this information from here and talk to it. So I'm going to try this out and see how it will work. So before I set up my Bedrock, I need to create some sort of bucket to retrieve the information from. Into your console, put S3 and create a bucket. Let's give it a name and fill the details over here and see what we can do with it. For my bucket, I just give it a name and leave the region at Euro Frank Frot. In your case, if it's a real project that you're working with, all you have to do is just switching the region from over here to something near your company. So first step, go back to your Amazon console account and search for Bedrock. And when you access it, you will find this page over here. It'll tell you what to do and the benefit of using it, what type of model that you can use here. Open them sidebar and select under builder tools knowledge bases. So here we can create our new knowledge base. I'm gonna click this button. Here we can give it a name, knowledge base quick start. I think this is a good name. Let's delete this stuff. You can add description and select it's the source of the data. Here I am gonna connect it to the bucket that I created on the Amazon. So here it's automatically connected to SS3 and click next. And I'm gonna here choosing the 
personal bucket that I have browser yeah it's the only one that I have over here shoes and now I'm gonna click next here we have select one of this embedding model we have by Amazon Titan embedding G1 and Titan text embedding and this is I think cohere embedding models all of them are in dimensional 1224 we can select this model over here and here we have an option for another dimensions and here select quick create new vector store which is basically gonna create our vector database to store our embedding inside and now we can confirm click create knowledge base it took it a few minutes to give me this page about three or four minutes if i remember correctly and i got this message knowledge base in the name of the knowledge base created successfully sync one or more data source to index your content for searching sync can take from few minutes to few hours okay that's a lot we should add some sort of text inside our data source to basically talk to it and all what you need from this page is the knowledge id uh, the name of the knowledge base name add this to your env.local so we can use it in the project I went back to the S3 bucket and uploaded a file called the this of junior developer.txt simple file. I have just a few texts talking about the video that I made last week about the end of junior developer and how AI affecting us. I'm gonna hit upload and wait for it until it's done. Right now it's succeeded as you can see. Close. Now I have something inside my bucket. The setup for the repo missed something I kind of noticed. Here, after you're done with creating the, your knowledge base and you get your name and ID, you have to select the data source, click sync. This will turn your data inside your bucket to an embedding so we can query it and use it. So let's take the name and the ID and put it in the project and see how we can talk to it. In order to get our access key for the bedrock, all you have to do is go to the WES console, then access the AIM slash user and create a new one. And when you're creating the new one, after you name it, set the permission under the attach, under attach policy directly, search for Amazon Bedrock for access and actually select it. All right. After you select it, you can click next. The second step to get the access key itself, return back to user and select the user that we have created. And under security credential, you will find the create access key block. With that, we can create our access key. If you click it, when you click the create access key, it will give you a list of option use cases. Select application running on an AWS compute services. When you click next, be careful because this will create the access key and the ID key that you will need. They will load the file that it will give you and keep them safe in some place that's secured. Both, both of the access key and the ID key in the ENV file that we have inside this repo. And with that, the Amazon part is done. And for Anthropica API key, console.anthropica.com slash dashboard, select the get API key. And there you can get your API key or create a new one. Okay, I set up the entire saying selected the knowledge base from over there. You can have multiple knowledge bases. This is the name of the knowledge base that I created. Selected the model Hiku and asked it to tell me about the disk of junior developer. It found out an, a, a near match, almost 70% match for the tickets that I'm talking about. Here it summarized it, told me the information provided discuss the potential impact of large language model like ChatGPT on the role of junior developer. And I go on to summarize that entire article. And here it also suggests another awesome questions. And here it told me tone of what is going on. It's curious and the contents is actually provided because we fetch something from Bedrock base that we created. And here it tells us that it's technical and it's a feature. This is a fantastic UI integration and logic that's provided for free from Anthropica. I found just something that's really annoying. It took me one hour to figure it out. I'm not joking. When I was setting up my knowledge base here, 
and trying to talk to it, I got a couple of errors on top. This error is here, reg error, resource not found, exception. Knowledge base with the ID that we just created does not exist. This error was so annoying. I didn't know where it coming from. I read multiple times the reboot setup. It doesn't show anything. So I went on the full debugging mode developer and I found out the region was hard coded. The region that it was set up here was the US East. So this is why I was keep getting this annoying error. So be sure to change the region here. It's hard coded. It should be in the environment keys, honestly. It should be over here. Whatever region that you created your knowledge base on it. How do you know where your knowledge base basically central? In the URL, you can find the name of the region over here and central one, you central one. So I copy that, go back to the code, put it in the region, and voila, we have the knowledge base is integrated. And you can see here when I send something, it returned back with a content text, location, and metadata. Perfect. Perfect. This is how it works. We can ask it one more question from the suggested over here and it gives us back information with another match. As you can see here, there is the knowledge base history and it will keep pushing up until we find it. If I click this one, as you can see here, this is the source information that it got from the article that I bought in the SW, S3 bucket. And here the context and the tone of it. So, so far, this is fantastic. There is also an option, deploy your own, basically, customer support. And if you went out back to the Rebo, you'll find that actually you can deploy it on AWS Amplify. I honestly am not going to do that. I am already exhausted enough from figuring out what was going on with the region er error. But before we end this video, I have to be honest with you guys. This reboot is fantastic. It just for free have an amazing performance. You can change your eye, put your company logo over here and select different theme. It's fantastic. But the most annoying part about it is the Amazon Bart setup. I didn't show the entire details that what happened with me when I was working with Amazon setup. I got error with the models. I got error with the AM uh, user, I got error with the credential policy. I just fixed this stuff in the background, but I didn't want it to, but I didn't want it to show it in the video because this is a short video. If you want me to create a highly detailed video about this repo and how to set up the Amazon users and the permission for it and accessing the models, knowledge bids step by step and uploading stuff and embedding this stuff. Just let me know in the comment and please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification for my channel so you don't miss any upcoming video. Have been a blast. Thank you for watching. This is Hussam Din or simply you can call me Sam and see you in the next video.